What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 82, Traces of a Lost Village. You can unlock this request after you've received Hisuian Braviary as a rideable mount Pokemon. So you can fly around in the air using Braviary. And then you should be able to find this request as one of the new requests that unlocks right after that event. You'll find this request in the basement of the Galaxy Hall by talking to Manny, who is obviously part of the Ginkgo Guild. And he's usually standing down here, but there's no request until after you get that Hisuian Braviary. And then suddenly he'll get the new request icon above his head, like a bunch of other new requests that should populate around Jubilee Village as well. So once you get the request from Manny, you can head over to the Alabaster Iceland. You should be able to find the request icon on your map, and I do recommend to activate the guide whenever you're doing these requests because it really does help to get that icon. In some cases, it doesn't show up, but in this case, it does show up, so it takes you exactly where you need to go. Make sure you activate the guide by going to your map and pressing Y and then pressing the R button to get over to your requests, and then you can scroll down to this request and activate the guide. Pretty easy, but you definitely will need it because it's a little bit hard to find these snow runs otherwise. So once you do find the snow runs, they're gonna be next to this little sparkling gem thing here, and they're basically signaling for you to go and check it out, and it's pretty obvious where it's located, so you can just walk right over there and check it out. Now the next spot is not gonna be so obvious, and we do have to find snow run one more time. There's a pair of snow runs, and they're basically leading us on a little bit of a journey to find all these pieces of a journal that appear to be about Manny's ancestral home where he used to live with his people in the Alabaster Icelands. So we go through a little bit of a storyline journey here where we're reading this journal and it has to do with the frost lass. It's interesting because you also dig up a bunch of poem pieces from all around the Hisui region using your writable Ursaluna mount. And they also tell a tale about a frost lass. So all of this does appear to be somewhat related. And there's a basically a beautiful Pokemon. It's a beautiful lady. The poem is very disjointed and hard to understand. There's pieces that are missing. So it's a little bit hard to figure out what exactly is going on. The story is always open to interpretation because you really make of it what you will with as much of it that is missing it's kind of hard to place what exactly is going on but it's definitely about a frost lass and it's about manny's ancestors and it pretty much has to do with those poems that you dig up using ursaluna and that's about as far as the facts that we know go the rest of it is subject to your interpretation anyway we got through the poetry and we got through the journal and we're going to go and find those next two snow runs. And this is the last location that you have to go find. Again, it's very easy to find this location if you activate the guide. So I do recommend doing that. And once you interact with the two snow runs, you're going to go into this battle. So you do have a battle during this particular request. It's a level 55 Frostlass. Now, if you're looking for a Pokemon that can beat Frostlass, I do recommend Gollum. But because it's Ice type versus Gollum, you might have a hard time with that. It's what I did though. Overquill is actually a good Pokemon as well. Or you could use a Fire type Pokemon. So you shouldn't have too hard of a time getting through this Frostlass because it's only level 55. Hopefully, you've got some decent Pokemon on your team that can get the job done. Once you're able to defeat the Frostlass, it will drop something. It appears to have dropped another piece of the journal. It's the rest of the pages that were torn out of the first part that we found earlier in the request. We're basically reading through this story and piecing it together using the different pieces of the journal that we were able to find and put back together. And it's basically telling us the story about this frost lass and about Manny's people. You can read it on your own. I don't really claim to know exactly what the story is about or all the details, but I did read through it. It's very interesting. It adds a lot of character to the Hisui region. And it shows us how the world of Pokemon and the world of humankind have been mixed together for ages before we even knew about recorded history in the land of Pokemon. So it's actually really interesting adding to the Pokemon lore. It's going so far back in history like we've never gone back in any Pokemon game. So some of the requests on this game do add a lot of story and this is one of those requests that just adds an absolute huge amount of story even to the Pokemon universe because they're going so far back in Pokemon history further than 
we've ever seen before in any Pokemon game, I would argue. So if you guys find that interesting, let me know what you think down in the comments. Is there older history than this in the universe of Pokemon? I don't know. I haven't seen all the animes. I haven't seen all the movies or played all the games. So there might be some Pokemon expert out there who knows a ton more than me. But I would argue that this is the oldest, furthest back that we've ever gone in the universe of Pokemon right here in this request on Pokemon Legends Arceus. So that's fairly interesting to me, but let me know what you think about that down in the comments. I could be wrong. All right, everybody. So once we get through that long story process and find all the pieces of the journal, of course, we need to report back to Manny in the basement of the Galaxy Hall and show him the journal. But what's this? We lost the journal. Uh-oh, we found an old journal, we read all the story, and somehow we lost it in a blizzard on the way to show Manny his actual family history. What are the chances? Oh well, apparently the stories in the journal line up exactly with the oral history of Manny's people, and he believes every single word of it, so he finds us to be a trustworthy source, and he is so happy that we found out the history of his clan. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this episode. This was a little bit of a long one, but it does take a little while to get through all of the talking and the storyline in this request. But like I said, it's a very interesting story for the world of Pokemon. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you found this episode informative and useful. Thanks to all of my amazing subscribers, and peace!